Welcome back to Richards. Today we have a fan request beer. It's Boomin' Belgian White Ale from Ogopogo Brewing. That's right, our fan Jackie reached out to us. Thanks, Jackie. And recommended that we try this beer and review it. So here we are. Ogopogo Brewing is no stranger to the channel, though it has been a while since we've reviewed a beer from them. Last time we reviewed the Bigfoot beer. Mm -hmm. You can check that out over here. And uh, it was really, really good. We really enjoyed it. Belgian white ale, though, with coriander and orange peel. Doesn't sound it's good. It's not your style. <laughs> doesn't sound good at all. Jackie doesn't know me. No canning date, but uh, Jackie just brought this to you recently. So <sighs> here we are. It has one. Strike one, Jackie. It has won awards at the Great American Beer Festival in 2019 and 2020, both silver. Oof. Strike two. Why? This has to be like top-notch shit if you're telling me to review it. There is a blurb on the back. It says, the door to your closet creaks open, like that of an ancient crypt. You jolt awake. In the Netherlands, it is known as the Boomin, the Dutch boogeyman, formless and malicious, known to stalk the dark corners of homes. It lies in wait to all misbehaving children. Beware. The Boomin may come to steal you away. I don't like sleeping with the, the closet open. I now know. I'm going to have nightmares I love that. tonight. Thanks, Jackie. Ogo three. Ogo Pogo Brewing is in uh, San Gabriel, California, so super close to us, I think. Um, I like it. I like the idea. There's sheep on there for sleeping. However, and look at this creepy guy in the front. I didn't notice to like right now. Why a Belgian white ale for a creepy beer? Give me maybe like a dark ale or a stout for creepy dark stuff. Um, I don't know. That's a good question, Jackie. It's not everything is her fault. She yes. likes the way that the beer tastes. Jackie, I don't know. That's it. That's interesting. But maybe they just maybe the the name has nothing to do with the beer. True. It's just, just the cute. story. It's just cute. Well. Let's stop talking about it and get to drinking about it. All right, let's crack it open. And here comes the booming coming for Mary. I'm really gonna have nightmares tonight. I love the closet open. Why? I don't like looking at the mirror. But you're beautiful. Let what you see. A lot of great carbonation here. Let's go to the nose. <laughs> That smells like lemon or lime, that kind of citrus to me. It smells like one of those Sam Adams variety packs, like summer variety packs. I'm getting more of the spice now, that coriander, and I, I kind of agree with you, but I tend to like those, so that's not a negative for me. Did you know that coriander is cilantro? Yeah, but I always forget. This is so <laughs> weird. But like, think about how different that sounds now. This is a Belgian white ale with cilantro and orange peel. But usually when people say coriander, they refer to only the ground up seed, not the actual like plant that's used in like a lot of Hispanic food. You're so smart. I'm glad that you, I really thought that cor coriander and cilantro were interchangeable. I'm I mean, being serious. I mean, maybe they are in some places. But I'm being usually... totally serious for once in my life. Um, yeah, and I mean, we've had the Sam Adams Whit Beer before. That comes out seasonally as well, I think, in the winter time. But this one smells really, really good. I'm really excited for this. Oh, I'm so excited too. Like how much you gave me. It's your favorite style. That's nice. Smooth, crisp, refreshing, perfect for when you're out in the softball field. I... It tastes like pens. I only got half a sip left, but <laughs> I've had this beer out of the can before, spoiler alert, and it tastes totally different. But you say that to everything. No. I like this beer. It's not my style though. I wouldn't go to Bevmo or Turtle Wine and say, oh yeah, let me get this Belgian white ale. I would, I like it. Uh, but Jackie gave it to me and she let me have a taste of one and she gave me another one to review, which is very nice, thank you. Um, 
I really appreciate it. I really liked drinking it that day because it was good. It's just, it's not something that I would reach for. If I was at Jackie's house and she had this and she had a sour in the refrigerator and something, I would definitely reach for the sour. Right. But this is not, I like, I like this a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it too. It's um, got a little bit of that citrus from the orange peel. I don't know a lot about the spice, but I feel like it's in there doing something. I, t- I feel like what I'm getting is pen is the spice. Pens. Pens, Pens equals spice. Yes. For those of you at home that have your Mary Key out on there, so you'd be like, oh, which says pens that means spice. Well, Pencils means. What does trash mean? Alcohol. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It means leather. Ooh, maybe. Anyway, and then there's very little of the like wheat flavor at the end. It's not a big punch in the face bread. It's just a little bit. Um, so that I can get behind. I can really enjoy. Yeah, I I don't even taste any bread at all. I really enjoy that part. You're right. It is very fresh and refreshing. It is a perfect outside beer drinking beer. Yeah. Um. I do get a little bit of that spice now, and just just enough in there, and I I, I like it. And I think these beers are really, really nice because you you can always have a stout before Mary jumps down my back for saying this, but not everybody wants a stout all the time. Sometimes you want to have four beers and not be hung over the next day. You know, you want to have four of these and you'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, I agree with that. I won't jump on you. I think that's, that, that's fair. I think that... Uh, that's most people's goal. I mean, maybe not four beers, but not having a hangover. And this is a perfect, light, refreshing beer. I like it. I'll give it a 4.25. Ooh, we're breeding them. 4.25? Dang. What? Is that too high? Should I change it? I, didn't, I don't know. With how you were talking about it, I didn't think you were going to give it a four. I like it. I like it. I have to stay impartial because I'm a amateur amateur. I can't just give stouts all fives and not hand out fives to anybody else. I know I didn't give it a five, but <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah, that's still a really yeah. high rating for you for something like yeah. a white ale. Um, I'm going to agree. I'm going to give it a 4.25. This is one that I would definitely drink again. Um, really, really good from Ogopogo, and it makes me want to like try more of their stuff because we've had a stout we like from them now. We've had a white ale we like from them now. It's two totally different styles. So it tells me that they've, they've got something good going on. Easily accessible, too. Jackie said she got it at Trader Joe's. Oh, that makes it even better. Mm-hmm. So for those of you at Trader Joe's in the SoCal area, keep your eyes out for this one. And it, it's probably pretty fresh because they they rotate their beers a lot. Really? Yeah, I don't see a lot of Ogopogo at Trader Joe's. I don't go to Trader Joe's a lot, but I don't see a lot of it. But also... They do, I feel like they do rotate their craft beers a lot. So, good job, Jackie. Thank you. ABV wise on this one, I feel like it's not super heavy at all. It's super light. It's a craft beer, so I'm gonna say 5%. You just said that because I just said that. No, I yeah. don't know what you're talking about. I cut that out. Oh, yeah, he cuts it out when I get it right on. Keeps your guesses. That's well, easy when there's no decimal places. Yes, it's a five. Perfect. That's right where a beer like this needs to be. I feel like five percent is enough, especially if you buy a four pack of this and you bring it somewhere. You know, you're not going to get smashed. You're going to be able to have it, and then you know, hang out for another hour or two, drive home, be fine. Maybe do math later. I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I'm. This is. Yeah, this is one where I would I would get it again. I'll drink two of them with you. You drink two, I drink two. Perfect. Then we can have a stout. And then we can have a stout. Perfect. For those of you out there, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. Share it with your friends because nothing wrong with sharing some beers with your friends. Subscribe. It all helps us out. And until next we meet, we're the Rumor Traders trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time. time.